hey guys what's up and welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is naku alute a first time mom to be sharing her amazing pregnancy journey with you guys and in today's video we'll be packing my hospital bag together and so i'll be showing you guys you know the things i would be taking along with me to the hospital for myself and for baby girl as well so basically the hospital gave me a list of um, necessary items to have in my hospital bag for myself and for baby girl however i have also added like a few items to that list like i've sort of um, built on the list that was given to me by the hospital and i also had like my very good friends help me out with you know other necessary items to have in my hospital bag since they have already had babies so yeah i had to you know consult the experienced ones and so yeah we're going to pack my hospital bag today so what i'm going to do is i'm quickly going to run through the items like show you guys the items then after that i would pack them into my bag so let's get straight into the video and if you are not yet subscribed to the channel if this is your first time seeing this pretty face i would really do love for you to stay so kindly hit the subscribe button below to join my amazing youtube family and to my returning viewers and subscribers thank you so much for coming back all right guys so i'm going to start off with baby's items um these are receiving blankets i have i think nine of them so these are all receiving blankets for baby girl as you can see and then i have um two swaddle what's it called S swaddle sacks right yeah so i have these two swaddle sacks as well and these are wash clothes so i have three wash clothes going into the bag as well and I have a towel and these two are hooded towels so two hooded towels and then one you know like normal or regular towel and over here I have um, these are all onesies actually but then I have this like all white onesie which I'm taking three of them actually the the hospital said to bring just you know six baby outfits including um, sleep suits but then I'm taking um, three all white onesies so I'm taking you know these three which are all white the same size for all and then I'm also taking these as well so these are also onesies but then this has like some design in it so this is not like plain all white and then I have this as well it's a striped onesie and then this is um, a gray onesie so in total i'm taking six onesies which i think is a bit too much however i would rather want to have you know a lot than to get short of clothes for baby and then um i'm also taking this <laughs> for baby girl as well is like tight i think i want to take two of these so yeah i would add another one i think i want to take two of these for sleepers i'm taking three so i'm taking this particular one um this one and then this so this one has the press button but then for these two they have the zipper which i've heard that the zipper is actually you know easy to manage as compared to the press button one so for most of our sleepers we got the the ones with the zipper and we have um three sets of mittens for baby girl as well so i have one two and three and then we also have our bathing items over here so we've got um, in here i have the avino set so i have oh, i have the avino calming comfort bath 
and then this is the Avino Baby Moisture Wash and Shampoo. And then in here, this is the Avino Daily Moisture Lotion. And then the last item in here is the Avino Stress Relief Body Wash. There you have it. So this goes into our wash bag. And we're also taking um, this. It's a set of hats for baby. So a set of three um, all white hats for baby. Now moving on. These are items I'm going to pack um, in the diaper bag. So we have um johnson's baby oil and we have um pseudo cream this is for nappy rash so i would put this in the diaper bag as well and then i also have a number of um haggis diapers so i've taken about 15 pieces and i've put them like in a ziploc bag for baby girl so this is also going to go into our diaper bag and we also have the Haggis wipers this is the pure wiper and we also have a bottle of Sablon I am also going to pack my mom cozy um, wireless breast pump in my hospital bag though um, the hospital said it was optional like in the list that was given to me breast pump was like stated as optional but I still want to take it along just in case I would need the breast pump so yes I'm going to add this to my stuff and since I'm taking the breast pump that means I need to take um, feeding bottles as well so that in case I need to express then I have you know somewhere to store it so I'm going to take these two feeding bottles from Dr. Brown's. So just, you know, one large one and then this is like the small one. So yeah, I'll just add these two feeding bottles from Dr. Brown's. And what else? Yeah, and then I'll also put this in there. Our Hello World signage for when baby girl arrives so at the back you have um this as well so hello world you have the name date weight height so yeah just to take our cute pictures when you know baby girl arrives so i'm going to take this along to the hospital now i think i'm done with you know baby's items so for my items i have um two nightwears so this is a front opening um, nightgown that's how it looks like so i'm taking this as well as um, a pyjama set which is also you know front opening so that it would make breastfeeding easier so this also has you know buttons at the front and i'm also taking ouch and I'm also taking along three nursing bras. So I have um, white, um, nude, and then gray. I don't know. I think I would add a black one to make it four because black is like a necessity. So yeah, I'm taking these nursing bras. And I'm also taking along a number of um, breastfeeding pads to help control leaking. So yeah, this also goes into the bag and over here i have a set of sanitary panties so it's just like um sanitary pads but then um, they come in the form of like panties so basically that's how they look like for for postpartum so yeah And then still on postpartum care, I got myself uh, a peri bottle. So 
this is how it looks like. So this is how the peri bottle looks like. So you just put water in here and then you know use it. So yeah, a peri bottle for myself. And then I also got this um, tax medicated cooling pad also for postpartum care because I've heard you know a lot of good stuff about this. So I just had to get my hands on one. Uh, let me see, do I want to open it now? Maybe. Maybe. So they are basically like um, pads to help with um, postpartum recovery. So yeah. There you have it. That's the tax medicated cooling part. And what else for me? Yeah, I'm here to pack um, a wash bag for myself. So I would also have my soap, my toothpaste, like you know, necessary stuff. So soap, toothpaste, toothbrush, towel, um, body lotion, deodorant, all of those necessities. Um, so yeah, I'll pack them in my own wash bag. And I think I would also add, yeah, outfits for myself. I need to add um, maybe two or three outfits for myself for when, you know, I'm in the hospital and then one for, you know, coming home. So I need to pack that as well. So yeah, that's basically it, I guess. I've gone through everything that is supposed to be in my hospital bag. Let me quickly go through my list to make sure I have everything sorted out all right guys so let me quickly pack the things well into our bags and then we'll take it from there make sure that everything is in order and we have every necessary item in the bag so let's do the packing packing my hospital bag and i hope you guys enjoyed doing this with me i hope you guys enjoyed watching it as much as i enjoyed you know packing up my bag i'm actually glad i've been able to get this done and out of the way don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it don't forget to subscribe if you are not yet subscribed to the channel and don't forget to leave a comment down below if you enjoyed the video and i'll see you guys in my next video bye